So let's go ahead and look at the following problems and determine why they are not binomial. Which of those four, if any, but obviously at least one, is criteria is not met? So on problem number one, you randomly draw 20 M&Ms from a bag of 50 and you record whether a red M&M is drawn or not. So first thing, do we have a fixed number of trials? Yeah, we stopped at 50 M&Ms, so we have a set amount of M&Ms to look at. Number two, do we have two outcomes? Yeah, success is you get a red M&M, failure is you do not get a red M&M. Number three, do we have independent trials? Not here. It does not say we picked with replacement, and 20 out of 50 M&Ms does not meet our 5% rule. Okay, so we know that we do not have independent trials, and what about constant probability? Well, we do have that here, because the M&M is constantly going to stay the same color the whole time you're picking them. I mean, even if the color's coming off on your hand, you can see what color the M&Ms were. Okay, problem two. You watch cars pull into the parking lot until the seventh SUV pulls in. Do we have a fixed number of trials? No. It's an unknown amount of cars until you reach the seventh SUV. You could be watching 20 cars, 100 cars, you could be there all day. So we do not have a fixed amount of trials. What about two outcomes? We do. Success is you get an SUV, failure is you do not get an SUV. Independent trials we have because regardless of what the fixed number turns out to be, there's no way you're looking at more than 5% of all cars. Even if you're looking in the city of Long Beach, it's going to be more than less than 5% of all cars. And then lastly, do we have constant probability? We do. A car is going to stay whatever type it is the whole time it's driving. Even if you get in an accident and you want to call it a clunker or a totaled, it's still a totaled SUV. Okay, question three. You record whether it rained the first five days in February and then the first five days in July. Fixed number of trials? Yes. Check five days, then five more. Two outcomes, yes, rain, no rain. That's my success and failure. Independent, I'm gonna assume yes for this. Um, now that one's kind of maybe arguable because in the case of like having a three day storm if it's raining, but let's just pretend because it's too detailed to get into that one. And lastly, constant probability, we do not have that. The chance of rain in February is not equal to the chance of rain in July. Okay, and number four, we want to record the age of 10 fellow classmates. We do have a fixed number of trials. Ask 10 people and stop. Do we have two outcomes? Wait, we don't. What would success equal? So we don't have two outcomes. Now you could change it to say, record whether a fellow classmate is 21 or older, but the way it's worded, we do not have two outcomes. Independence, again, this one's arguable because it didn't say with replacement, so we would need to know could we ask the same person twice, which I don't think we would, and also how many classmates do you have? Because if you have 200, 10 classmates is 5%, but I don't know, that one's a little bit tough. I hopefully won't do that to you on the test. And what about constant probability? We do have that. Age will not change during class. And don't get all crazy and say, oh, but my birthday's at 2.30, so in 15 minutes is when I officially turn 21. If somebody asked you how old you were this morning, you would say, I'm 21, today's my birthday. This morning, you wouldn't have said, I'll be 21 in six hours. So we're going to go with constant probability on that one.